On today's menu, a deliciously crispy recipe so easy to make, time really fries by. Super crispy, tofu katsu, fingers. Lei Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe you'll definitely want to make today because it's so easy but incredibly delicious. Let's begin. Gonna make a simple, quick katsu sauce, and by simple, I mean literally only needs three things. Two tablespoons ketchup. Splash of toasted sesame oil. One tablespoon soy sauce. Mix. Place half a cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl. Half cup water. Season with a pinch of salt. Mix until combined. Pour about three quarter cups of panko into another bowl. Season the panko with some salt. Carefully slice 350 grams of extra firm tofu into sticks. Roll the tofu in the flour mixture. Use a fork to transfer the tofu onto the panko. Roll and stick the panko onto the tofu. Set aside the prepped tofu. I'm just going to repeat those steps for the rest of the tofu sticks. And of course, if you love easy and quick recipes like this, then you'll definitely love the brand new cookbook simply titled Cook with Confidence. And this is a collection of the best favorite recipes from the cooking show. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check this out or get your signed copy. Boy, that looks amazing already. Time to fry these up, get them really nice and crispy. Now you can bake these about maybe 400 degrees, spray some oil on them for about 10 minutes or so, but I find frying them in the frying pan just gives it that really nice, super crispy, authentic kind of Japanese breadcrumb crispiness. Frying pan. Medium heat. One cup avocado oil. Alternatively, you can use grape seed or veggie oil. Stick a bamboo chopstick into the oil. If you see some bubbles, the oil is ready. Fry the tofu in small batches for about 45 seconds on each side.
Place the tofu onto a paper towel to absorb the excess oil. Repeat with the rest of the tofu. Plate. Parchment paper. Tofu katsu fingers. Garnish with some freshly chopped cabbage and tomato. Remember to plate your delicious sauce and you're ready to serve. You can now make this deliciously crispy treat with absolute confidence. This is definitely one of my absolute favorite things to make. It is so easy to put together and that it is so incredibly delicious, packed with flavor, and you're just gonna love this. Mm. My goodness, this is just so delicious and so satisfyingly crispy. Listen to this. Man, the tofu on the inside is really moist and just delicious. It's really meaty. And of course that amazing, amazing crispy outer layer from that panko, the breadcrumbs. It makes that difference when you season the flour and the breadcrumbs a little bit with a little bit of salt so that it just brings everything together. Everything is just perfectly seasoned, really tasty. And of course, when you dip it in that katsu sauce, that simple katsu sauce that we just put together in two seconds, really just is a whole different world. You have the meatiness of the tofu, the crispiness of the panko that goes just so amazingly well with that delicious, tangy, salty, sweet, kind of sauce that sticks onto those delicious katsu fingers. Another reason why I love making this is because it's just so versatile. You can have this for lunch, you can have this as a snack, serve this with a delicious bowl of freshly steamed rice, or you can make this and serve this as a delicious appetizer, which is just stunning to look at. And man, that crispy outer layer, visually that just looks incredibly beautiful. Like I always say, this dish is definitely a party I'd like to attend. It's just packed with flavor, so many different flavors and textures. You'll absolutely want to make this and you will absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and if you love easy recipes like this, then you'll definitely want to check out that new cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check this out. Plus, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. In that same link, you can also pick up your free ebook that has five super easy, unintimidating plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. You can check those out in the link in the description box below. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so I'll see you in the next episode.